and I'm here at the DeSavo Museum, and I'm here with Dr. Carol Adams, President and CEO. On. Why do you think jazz is important to the community, or is it important to the community? Well, obviously, we think it's important because we're having a series of jazz concerts here at the DuSable Museum. We're an African-American history museum. We focus on the history and culture of African people, and we are the originators of this music. This is our music. We need to celebrate it. We need to claim it. We need to perform it. We need to provide venues for our artists, and we need to reflect on the greatness of our music. So that's the band director, Walter Diet, that turned out many, many wonderful musicians. As a matter of fact, there are several of us that are in the ensemble right now that came uh, out up under Walter Diet. And if we, if we mention Walter Diet, you have to mention, and you've mentioned Walter Diet and the DuSable Museum, you have to mention Dr. Margaret Burroughs. And uh, she was a, a art teacher when I was at DuSabo. It was very special when you knew you were in a different place when you walked into her room. Her art studio was a world in itself. And it really took you away from DuSabo. Once you walked into her room, you were really into another world. It was a completely different vibration. A lot of us didn't realize what it, the importance of that at that time, but now we can look back and see. So if we talk about Dr. Margaret Burroughs, we have to talk to talk about uh, Dr. Carol Adams, our new reigning person in the, in the arts community. We are so happy to have her here. Yeah. So we're going to focus in on Joan Baptiste Point DuSable, Walter Diet from DuSable High School, Dr. Margaret Burroughs, and our, our new queen, Dr. Adams. We're going to start off in the tradition of, uh, um, of this music and this spirituality. And we're going to take you all the way back to the beginning. And I'm going to start with a didgeridoo chant. And the didgeridoo is a very uh, ancient instrument. you can't discover a place where folks already live. It's like a stranger coming into your house and laying claim to everything in your crib. But unlike a certain man maniacal murderer, maniacal murderer that raped, pillaged, and plundered his way through a little place we now call Puerto Rico, the brother named Dusabo actually set up shop where people only pass through with only brief stops. Chicago, the natives called it the land of the stinky onions. Who knew that in less than 200 years it would become Michigan Avenue, the magnificent mile, home to Bloomingdale and Norton's Rack, the water tower and baby gap. An industrious brother, DeSabo, created a crossroad that attracted people from Miami to Quebec. 